The 4.0 twin turbo V8 is a great engine from a performance and a power standpoint. It is not a great engine from an ownership standpoint. Hey everyone, Jake from 8020 Automotive here. Today we're talking about Audi's 4.0 twin turbocharged V8 engine. The 4.0 twin turbo V8 is most commonly used in the S6, S7, RS7, S8, the A8, and a number of other vehicles. The twin turbo 4.0 V8 is extremely powerful. It can handle a ton of power, able to make upwards of 700 wheel horsepower on the stock internals, and with a handful of modifications, they can easily produce upwards of 900 wheel horsepower. So these are very strong and capable engines. However, it does have a few challenges and issues from a maintenance and a reliability standpoint, and that predominantly comes from the fact that this is is a hot V design. A hot V V8 essentially means that the two turbochargers are located in the middle of the engine in the valley in between the two cylinder banks. And so because your turbochargers are located directly in between and on the top side of the motor, this engine style tends to produce a ton of excess heat around important components of the motor. And that leads to some reliability issues. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and jump in and talk about some of the most common problems problems these engines experience because of the hot V. So the most common problem, or at least most talked about issue on these engines is with the turbocharger oil screen clogging. The turbochargers have an oil screen that catches any dirt, gunk, or debris from entering into the turbochargers and because of all the heat that takes place around here, it is common for that oil to actually gunk up and clog that screen. And what that does is that causes oil starvation to the turbochargers, which brings us to our second most common issue. Because of this oil screen clogging, the turbochargers fail from oil starvation. So to fix this issue, it's actually extremely simple. One of the preventative things that you'll wanna do is you'll just wanna go ahead and uninstall those turbo oil screens, and that alone fixes the majority majority of the issues with these turbochargers failing. Now they are still prone to failure at higher mileage levels even without the oil screen because of the amount of heat that gets produced but that's going to be the most commonly talked about and one of the biggest issues with these engines and probably one of the most expensive repairs and so just by doing a simple free oil screen delete you can go ahead and take care of one of the most common and most prominent issues on the 4.0 twin turbo v8 third on our list after the turbocharger issues is pcv valve failure the pcv valve is located near the valley of the engine where the turbochargers are and so the pcv valve is also subjected to a lot of additional heat and that causes it to fail when the pcv valve fails you'll get some lean codes you'll get excessive oil consumption and then you'll get some rough idling but Fortunately, all you have to do is swap out the PCV valve. So this ultimately isn't the biggest or most serious of issues here. Fourth on our list is the fuel injectors. This engine is direct injected and the fuel injectors are located on the inside of the cylinder banks. And so they're located right up against the turbochargers. Again, because of the heat of the turbochargers and the hot V design, the fuel injectors are subject to a little bit more rigorous heat and that causes them to fail more frequently. And the downside of fuel injector replacements is that fuel injectors are expensive. And so this is kind of just one of those maintenance or cost of ownership quirks with the hot V design. Fifth on our list, also caused by the hot V design, is excessive valve stem seal wear. The valve stem seals are, again, subject to more heat because those are sitting on the top side of the engine and that's where the turbochargers are. And so that leads to the valve stem seals wearing down a bit more over time, which is gonna lead to excessive oil consumption. And it can cause blue smoke on startup as well. And this is gonna be one of those things that's a bit more challenging of a problem to fix because it requires you digging into the the inside of the motor to replace and fix the issue. The sixth thing to mention here is that these engines are going to be a lot more prone to coolant leaks. Coolant leaks are very common with the valley pan gaskets and the turbo coolant lines and that's again a design flaw of the hot V. That alongside oil leaks as well just from gasket wear is going to be a common ownership issue on these engines because there's a number of gaskets and seals that are located right around these turbochargers producing all that heat. You tend to get those 
wearing down more often, causing coolant leaks and causing oil leaks. The issue with these coolant leaks, which tend to be a little bit more serious, is that getting to replace the valley pan gaskets and doing the turbo oil lines requires a lot of disassembly of the engine. And so from a repair cost standpoint, there's a lot of labor involved. And a few last small things on our list here is these are direct injected vehicles. So you're gonna get carbon buildup over time. And then lastly, these engines are prone to excessive oil consumption. Generally, once they start getting to higher mileage levels, they start to consume a quart of oil anywhere between 1,000 to 3,000 miles. And that's usually caused by valve stem seal wear as well as possible PCV issues. Overall, the 4.0 twin turbo V8 is a very powerful motor. It's a great motor from a performance standpoint, but it has quite a few design flaws because of the hot V design that ultimately lead to a lot more kind of common problems and some maintenance concerns on these engines. Ultimately, because of the way that they're set up and because of the problems that are caused by it, you tend to have some more difficult to fix or costly repairs when it comes to valve stem seal wear and all of the gaskets that it cooks leading to coolant leaks and oil leaks and so on. So these engines aren't bad. They just have some quirks because of all of the heat that gets produced and heat is really the big killer and issue here. Anything you can do to take care of the cooling system and try to reduce the heat that's created inside the valley of the engine is great from a reliability and a maintenance standpoint. So good engines, they can make it to the 150,000 mile mark, but the big issue is that by the time you get to those types of mileage levels, you're likely to have run into some relatively serious problems just because of all the heat and heat generally isn't good for engines. The 4.0 twin turbo V8 is a great engine from a performance and a power standpoint. It is not a great engine from an ownership standpoint once you get to high mileage and have a lot of wear and tear. So that wraps it up for our video on Audi's 4.0 twin turbo V8. If you guys appreciate this video, please click the like button, subscribe to our channel and stay tuned as I'll do a mod video talking about power levels, limits and the best modifications on this engine coming soon.